I'm here with Kaleen and she will make us rave. Hi Kaleen, how are you today? <laughs> I am very good, how are you? I'm good. Are you not tired? I mean, how do you keep up with all these pre-parties? <laughs> I am tired, but I feel like once you know the day is starting, the sound checks are going, the interviews are going. I'm I'm on this high. I don't even feel it. I'm not hungry. <laughs> I don't need to drink. I don't need to sleep. <laughs> so yeah, maybe I have to pay attention to that a little. But all good, all good. I'm happy to be here. Amazing. Uh, you were uh, yesterday in Amsterdam, right? Exactly. Yeah, we were there last night. I feel like probably 12 hours ago. Mm -hmm. How was um, it? It was great. the The crowd was amazing. You know, 6,000 people screaming your song. It's just amazing. And now you're here at the co host country. How do you feel? Honored to be here, definitely. The location is beautiful and I, I do love Sweden, so I'm very excited for tonight as well. Maybe Sweden can uh, be this, like at just as loud as 6,000 people with less people because the venue is a little smaller. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to their energy. I know they love Eurovision, so. <laughs> Great, so now let's talk about wardrobe malfunction. Yes. So. <laughs> In London, you handled it like a star. Bravo, congratulations. <laughs> we loved Thank it. Thank you very much. How about what you're going to wear in Malmö? Is it going to be wardrobe malfunction proof? Definitely. That's like the first point. It would have been anyways, no matter if that ha had happened in uh, London. So, of course, it, everything has to be very, very fixed, tight. I, I should be able to, I don't know, run a marathon and... Uh, or do a triathlon, maybe swim as well, do everything and, and nothing should move even an inch. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, the rehearsals start in Malmö on the 27th. What is your plan? What, what, what do you have in mind? How, do you, how are you going to start your journey there? Uh, good question. I have not really thought about that. I feel like uh, it's going to be so overwhelming just being there and knowing, okay, now is the final time of this year's Eurovision. Um, I feel like just, just do it. Get up in the morning, be happy, um, prepare myself, be healthy, and then hopefully rock that first rehearsal. I'm, I'm just so excited to finally do it on the real stage and the, the real choreography and, and everything. So, yeah, I'm just excited. You know, were you were you planning on representing uh, Austria for long, or it's just came? No, it's been definitely a dream of mine to be at Eurovision for for a longer time. Um, I'd say I, it was a specific dream, probably since three years. I really, really tried to do it and and get to where I am now um, and before that yeah I was I was just in love with Eurovision with TV productions in general so yeah it, it was a very very nice way and uh, I'm, I'm feeling proud that I'm that I'm sitting here today great so let's talk about today what are you gonna wear this uh, no this is just just for, for now, now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah just something that I threw on. Okay. no <laughs> yeah um, I'm, I'm gonna change I'm gonna change later that's amazing but I mean you're gorgeous you're shining now Thank you we you. didn't even need the light. <laughs> so one message about your Greek and inter international fans? Yes, uh, so I, I love Greece. I go to Greece every single year for a holiday. Yeah, so I can't wait to go this year. I need suggestions, so, so please just contact me which island I should visit. Um, I'm extremely grateful for all of your support. I hope we can also throw a rave once I'm in Greece because I'd love to meet all of my Greek ravers. Yeah, and I'm just extremely grateful. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much. And for sure, we will rave with you here Thank tonight you. and in Malmö. I hope so. I'm counting on you. I need you. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye.